dear students we proceed further uh, with an uh, aspect of uh, mutex as i said the mutex is also a semaphore variable which will ensure mutual exclusion mutual exclusion uh, in the n process solution so essentially it is used in the n process solution what do you mean by n process solution consider there are n processes which are in the uh, system they want to enter into their critical section maybe sometime so if all those n processes they want to enter into their critical section either at the same time or at the different time it must be ensure that no other process are there in the in their critical section so in a nutshell must ensure that only one process is in its critical section other should be in their non critical section so in order to achieve this we have a semaphore variable called as a mutex and we have two um, primitives which i already mentioned one is wait another one is a signal the purpose of wait here is it will ensure that uh, it will ensure that uh, the process uh, is waiting until another process is in the critical section and if that process has released uh its entry i mean it has exited from its critical section then it will set it to 1 and this process will make sure that it will uh, set it to 0 and then enter it to enter into its critical section uh, this is a um, uh, wait which will do s yes, minus minus in the sense it will capture the critical section part and then here signal will enter into the critical section now i will uh, take up the usage of the uh, what i call it as an mutex variable as i mentioned mutex is a uh, semaphore variable which is used for n process solution now we will uh, move on to the um, one loop which we call it as a do while which we are you are very much familiar in general usage so do while it is an infinite loop because it is an it will execute until uh, by, by default it is always true so wait mutex in the sense it will set the value of the mutex if it is 1 to 0 and then it will capture the critical section part it will enter into the critical section after it finishes off its critical section then it will set to the signal what is the signal signal is s plus plus here it sets to 0 it allows to it will itself enter into the critical section after its critical section job is over the same process will set it to 1 by making signal as s plus plus then this is remainder section and then it will be exit section so now we shall take up another important aspect uh, this uh, concept of uh, wait and signal is uh, better explained using two different uh, algorithms uh, problems called as an reader writer problem and then um, what we call it as an um, dining table philosopher problem so for the first uh, first of all i start up with the reader writer problem what is the reader writer problem here see reader writer the name itself says it's a very simple straightforward uh, uh, meaning where reader are those who are reading the uh, matter and the writer is one who is writing the matter so whenever a reader is operating in the sense he wants to read it simultaneously n number of people can read it because there is no restriction on the reading but when it comes with respect to writing at that time it must be ensured that Uh, more than one writer should not write at the same time because it will create a uh, some chaos in the uh, implementation so here in this particular case <coughs> it is ensured that two things you should keep in mind while understanding this particular algorithm the first important thing here is whenever writer wants to enter into his critical section in the sense writer wants to write it he should obtain the permission first that is an criteria second here is whenever the reader first reader enters into the critical section to read it he will ensure that he will make the writer off by setting wrt equal to 0 right that is the second thing the count is a one more variable which is ensuring how many readers are reading the content because no doubt uh, multiple person can read simultaneously but it does not harm the content whatever you read it you can read hundreds of records simultaneously by thousands of the uh, reader but problem here is how many people have read the content it has to be tracked in order to track the 
number of people who have read so read count is a variable which is used so start up with the algorithm here the reader will keep waiting unless writer has obtained the permission that is what i already said then solution is as follows semaphore is a as i said a synchronization variable uh, which uh, which is mutex and wrt both are and then uh, count is an read count is an integer variable as i mentioned its intention is to ensure that uh, how many readers are read writer is preferably only one now first is wait mutex this is a this uh, we have two different sections one is reader section another one is an uh, writer section in the case of the reader part what we are required to understand is first we make wait mutex mutex is already set to 1 wrt is already set to 0 read count is set to 1 now this is 0 in fact it is 1 and this is 1 so i remind you semaphore mutex is set to 1 wrt is set to 1 read count is set to 0 once we enter into the count then it will go on incrementing from the 0 onwards now for the reader process this is all for the reader process first weight mutex mutex was earlier as i mentioned it was 1 now weight mutex what what the mate weight will do weight will ensure that it decrements the semaphore variable now what is the semaphore variable here now semaphore variable is 1 so 1 is now reduced to the 0 once it is reduced to 0 then what happens here is one reader starts reading it fine so now count is 1 earlier as i said its counter variable is 0 now it count gets 1 now so process any particular process which has got the mutex variable semaphore variable which was set to 1 which was earlier one now it is set to the 0 by weight variable and then it proceeds further with the uh, counter variable incrementing if read count equal to equal to 1 as i already said if the reader is first then writer is asked to wait for writing he cannot write once the readers start re reading consider there are n number of readers are there so now for the once the first reader starts reading that is read count equal to equal to 1 indicating that the first reader if first reader starts reading then no more writer can write so he will go on reading once his reading is over he will signal the mutex and then reading is being performed then he will set uh, uh, mutex equal to 0 and then counter is decrement if the count equal to equal to 0 then indicating that uh, first uh, then uh, signal writer so now writer can start writing and then is a mutex now when we come to the writer process part here weight wrt what is the weight wrt weight wrt will ensure that it captures for writing so it sets to zero writing is been performed once the writing is over it will increment the semaphore variable by setting it to one so that another writer can write it or further reader can proceed with the reading thank you